Opinions only break you when you don't walk in your purpose. Manifest your legacy gems. I know I am. I keep the gym membership so I can get into, get, ultimately I wanna get back to three a days. I used to do three a days faithfully. Um, then I dropped down to two a days. Right now I'm at one a day. Um, a possible day <laughs> in, in one a day, so. I'm loose like a goose with a deuce of that juice. You might slow your ass down. It's a goose, don't get me started. Two shots of Patron, now I'm all in a bar. I'm loose, it's a goose, don't get me started. Don't look wrong, cause I will get on your way. So we're gonna go run. We're gonna go to the gym. Now I'm gonna show y'all this without showing y'all this. I went to get dressed to go run, right? And put some of my tights on. No, not even a month ago, were extremely tight. And I was like, oh Lord, Jesus, I gotta do something. I'm in here being hard on myself, right? Being hard on myself. Now they still tighten the ass and the legs. But look, these are tights. These are tights, y'all. So I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm happy. Okay, so I've made it, guys. You know, you can't film it here. I'm just looking for the people, so I'm about to head into the sauna and just have an easy day. Two cups of ice. Usually, one to keep my phone coat cool, and the other one um, I chew while I'm in there because I sit in for an hour. All right. It's exactly an hour later. It's eight. Uh, 8.18 p.m. is when I'm supposed to come out. As y'all can see, I am drenched. Let me sit up. It's all wet. Everything. Wet, wet. After I come out, I always allow myself 10 minutes for my heart rate to go back to resting heart rate because your heart rate gets elevated in the sauna. When you do about half an hour, I think you burn. Uh, 300 and something calories. I have to look it up again. When you do an hour, you you burn like 500 or something. So, we're gonna sit here, y'all. I'm gonna stop talking, because I can feel my heart. It's not beating fast, but it's like if you did a low cardio um, workout. I just, I'm trying to figure out why my weekend is so booked and busy. Girl, damn. This morning we're going in here, we're gonna get about four to five bags of dirt. I need those, I at least need four large flower pots, but I doubt I'm gonna be able to find them because the season is changing and they've already started putting out Christmas decor. We're pulling up at the Wally World. Us goddamn Virgos or something else. Did y'all see that damn, um, ooh, baby, kiss me in the sunlight on the back of my neck, honey. Um, I'm, I'm back, y'all, I'm back. Did y'all not see that? <laughs> Third time, I'm gonna stay focused, y'all. I'm gonna stay focused. I swear to God, I don't have ADHD, okay? These two guys are reviewing um, Michael Jackson, Beyonce, and the Mariah Carey in that order. In the video, uh, Michael is telling the guy, like, oh yeah, you're getting fired. Bobby, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, Bobby? What you gonna do? Because his, his set was like messed up, right? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my be my neighbor? My running shoes, they don't match with what I got on this morning, but this is what I'm putting on, okay? 
they told me that Mr. Rogers was a criminal and it was all tatted up. I said, are you thinking about Pee Wee Herman? For y'all that's like in your 20s, y'all probably not following along right now. Just, just go Google it, okay? I was like, no. He was like, no, I'm talking about Mr. Rogers. I said, with, with Daniel in the Tiger little neighborhood, he's like, yes. Babe, we was in there about to have a whole thing. I was like, you are not going to fuck up my childhood. So, anyways, <laughs> sir. Um, so, they had Michael on there telling the dude he was fired. And then they had Beyonce to my lights. Somebody's getting fired. I was like, two goddamn Virgos for your ass back to back. Because, baby, we do not what play. I I want to customize my YouTube feed because I be seeing I be seeing stuff that I just be like, girl, that's that's not a flex. <clears throat> you sitting on camera talking about how much this costs, how much that costs, how much this. I rarely ever tell y'all how much something costs unless y'all ask me. And it's not because I don't have it. It's not because I can't get it. Um, I just never been like that. Um, and I'm not saying everybody should be like that, but I'm so sick and tired of <clears throat> those coming on the YouTube, you know, consistently talking about, oh, I got a hundred thousand dollar car and I bought this. Da, 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 da. So let, let's, let's have a real life moment. Y'all can go back. I had a hundred thousand dollar car that basically was more than a hundred thousand dollars okay um once you add the you know everything on there that you was getting well over a hundred k okay bought cash no no house bought cash no no you don't see me coming on talking about it flexing isn't that what we supposed to do as adults? Not necessarily have to buy some, even my car that I'm in right now, my, my charger, um, but cash, no, no, not no mom and pops, not no gently used, brand new. I had literally seven miles on this car when I bought it. My BMW, um, uh, 50i X7, brand new smacking new customized it ordered it took time for it to come the whole thing so people be out here like trying to i don't know y'all some of them be trying to sell a dream don't my thing is don't get caught up in that please don't get caught up in that because a lot of these people out here are trying to lease a lot of these people out here and they buying these cars i know like especially like in the houston and dallas area and from working at a car dealership before you can go go get any especially if you go for in-house financing you can go to any lot and pick up something that's luxury 
and it's gonna hit you with that 24.99 percent interest on there because they do in-house financing they're gonna hit your ass with that six seven hundred dollar car note bill just for you to be out here in your car and that's your claim to fame like y'all do not get caught up in this social media stuff like the the average and i'm i'm not talking about like to me if you can't afford to buy it at least twice that's not a flex we're all in different seasons and different positions in our lives i know i didn't say that like three times but i'm gonna say it a fourth do not get caught up in these people out here telling you that they got this and they got that and you know all this other stuff because y'all don't know the fine print behind the goddamn details okay that's that's what i'm gonna say to y'all y'all don't know the fine print behind the details um i personally prefer american cars there are a few that i recently looked at when i was looking at my bmw like i looked at um now well the kids liked a navigator but i looked at the Lincoln Aviator. I looked at the Cadillac, of course. I looked at the G Wagon. Of course, my BMW X7. Um, because I need something that hauls at least six people. At least six to seven people. So, um, you know, that's, that's the type of stuff I looked into. Um, I wasn't looking into a vehicle for oh let me do this as a flex or whatever i'm a mom i have kids and those kids are all kids shit so not i'm not a grandmother but i'm saying my kids haul other people's kids i always have somebody's kids with me okay that's why i stay with insurance for my own self but just because so y'all all i'm saying is do not try to live above your means um now I'm not definitely and by no means necessary am I gonna ever tell you to be complacent it, it's not even in me to say to tell somebody to be complacent um, you should always be set setting goals achieving goals and resetting goals and achieving new goals you should always be pushing yourself um, to a different level I'm not telling you go push yourself to where you homeless but I'm telling you you have to be uncomfortable sometimes in order to get the things you want it's a many a days a many of days forget what everybody may say it's a many of days that I chose to go without so that my kids would and I would have many of days okay so I would not dare come on um, social media or dare talk to other people and say just just lead people astray I have worked and when I say worked I mean worked I have worked as a hairstylist I have worked doing sub jobs sometimes I even had three jobs you know so no there are things you can do to where you don't have to work as hard I chose to work like that I didn't have to work like that I chose to work like that to achieve certain goals I had for myself and I'm glad that I did just the consistency in me achieving the things that I want to achieve in my life um, that push me forward and continuously put me at new levels or different like I'm a person y'all I have networked with tons of people I've come on YouTube I've done brands I've done all of that you know like I've had high numbers I've had low numbers you know that's just the game of the internet don't let people tell you oh it's not a game it's not a strategy it's not a this it's not a that it is it, it's a, yeah I will I will tell you that yes there is a a work tactic there okay but there is also a strategy and there and there is also people behind the algorithm so don't get caught up in all this shit don't think that you're gonna start today and it's gonna be all of this because this is the part that people don't tell you about this is the part of youtube that you don't hear most people that are on youtube when they're struggling they're faking the funk until they make it and when they make it whatever that make it is for them because everybody's goals are differently 
Then they come on and they showing you all what they have, what they what they do, all of this. How come you don't see none of that shit before they do all of that? Because nobody wants to show you what I call the ugly truth. They're not going to come sit down and tell you, oh yeah, I live in this one bedroom. Or oh yeah, girl, I couldn't pay my light bill today. Oh bitch, my shit was turned off yesterday. They're not going to come tell you that. I wish that they would, but they're not going to come tell you that. Because people don't like to be judged. I know for me, I'm just private. It's not that I wouldn't tell y'all. I'm just, I'm just mad private. Um, but I can say thank God that I typically don't go through such circumstances and situations where my things, my bills are turned off on me. Um, if something is turned off, you best believe it, it was, bitch, it, it was just tight, okay? Um, but I typically, I try not to because I have kids and just on top of that, it's a certain way that I want to live as a woman. I want to be comfortable. I don't have to be above my means, but I want to be comfortable. I want to know that whatever it is that I own, that I can take care of the upkeep. Whatever it is that I have is going to bring me longevity. If I invest in a shoe, I, I could give two to z zero. I give zero about trying to put them up there so that they look cute for a picture. I want to protect my stuff. I'm going to keep my shoes. One, I keep all my stuff in the original pa packaging and stuff anyway because it just preserves them. It keeps the, you know, and we could go back and forth. That's a debate. But I just know for me, it's always preserved my shoes. I don't put my shoes in plastic containers, um, things like that, because that traps moisture in your shoe and in your leather or buckle, all, all kind of different things that people just won't tell you. I don't style my stuff out if it was a shoe that I was wearing every single day yes I would probably arrange them on the shelf just for you know that that aesthetic look however I'm not in a heel every single day I have so many different hats that I wear to when I go out um it just depends on what I'm doing. Now, I love a sick heel. I love to wear my heels, baby. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not in them all day, every single day. Y'all, don't be out here getting sucked into the social media facade because that's what it is. Don't think that these these people that you see, like this, I think that's why when I come on my channel, you know, whether y'all agree or not, because I done got drugged before and then I done, you know, whatever y'all want to call it. But I come on and I'm always very authentic. If I'm wearing makeup, I'm wearing makeup up if I'm not I'm not um, if my hair is combed for the day it's combed if it's not it's not like I'm showing y'all the real the raw um, and I'm sharing what I choose to share because at the end of the day y'all are still like whether you follow me or not we strangers if I ain't never met you we strangers and that's just kind of what it is social media you allow people uh, a, a lens right let's put it this way you allow people a lens to peek into your world they perceive to be your world because you have given them that perception that may not if it just depends on you and your personality for me yes whatever i put out that's that's my authentic self like i was just looking at my instagram today like okay last time i posted i thought it was my birthday but babe was like no it was like october 3rd i was like okay i gotta get back to posting like i'm not I do, and I know like as an influencer, I should probably get out there every day and take a picture, but every day I don't feel like getting up to take a picture. Just like some days we may not feel like getting up to go to work. Some days I'm just buckled down like from this morning I got up and from the time I got up this morning at 4.45, I have not sat down yet. I still ain't edited this video right here that I'm talking to y'all on. So um, I'm just saying all that to say, you know, like I still have a life. I do and I do like to watch other people's content and I do like to create my own content I never jock anybody's style y'all can go back to like my older videos I use gifs I use um, pictures I use music I use um, you know I try to tell stories I try to I have videos that are more professional I have videos that are more jokingly like you'll see all the sides of me um kind of like like lettuce he says all the pieces of me right these are the pieces of me these are the pieces of me like all of that but i gotta play that song i ain't heard it in a minute so i'm taking y'all to the mall with me real quick this is the only opportunity i have to come real quick before sydney gets home before bay gets home um from work and so forth so yeah, y'all, just, just, 
you know it's okay to watch your content creators it's, it really is but don't get so engulfed in other people's lives like I get it like people go hard for people you feel like you have formed that bond with them and all of that and that's great but remember at the end of the day your your um your perception is just that and I got my blood pressure going and I don't even have blood pressure just y'all listen to me don't get caught up in all that shit Gems. It's your girl Stylish Raven here. Thanks for watching my video today. Make sure you check out my previous video and most importantly, do not forget to subscribe, okay? If you're new to my channel, become fam, click subscribe and follow me on my social networks. Bye!